Scotty McLean. And we are, of course, live with the internet phone in. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. And a very big dinky do to you. Scotty McClure, live on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. What about that for you? Welcome to our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. Lovely stuff. Time, 9 o'clock, Monday night. Nothing gets past me. Let's just see what's happening on the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Dinky do. You're live on the phone in. Can you hear me? I'll just check everything's set up here. Yep, that should be fine. Hello, Dinky Doo. Scotty, can you hear me? Hello, Hello. Karim. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. How are we? We had a job hearing you there, but we can hear you loud and clear now. It's Karim here. How are we doing? How fantastic. Is that a very good evening to you and welcome. What's happening tonight? Nothing too much, Scotty. Um, just the start of a week. It's just been a very wet day. Aha, uh -huh. very wet day indeed. Now, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about talking a little bit about tonight, Karim. With right. everything that's happening in the world, usually when there is a crisis, people yes. turn back to God. Uh -huh. You see? And what I was thinking about all the agnostics and all the atheistic people, there must be God. Otherwise, why would these people be saying they object to him and there isn't? So we need the atheists and the agnostics to tell us what it is they don't believe in. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yes, I'm, I'm atheist, Scotty. Yes, um, yes. Now, was... that's not a problem at all. There's no, this is not judgmental. This is uh, us getting to the bottom of sort of an ancient mystery, if you like. Well, for me, I don't think God is what we perceive it to be. Yes, it um, or he I, or she or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like a process. You're sitting in your chair just now. Your brain is sending electrical impulses to the muscles for you to sit upright. And that's a process. And I feel the Big Bang, when it was the start of all these chemicals that came together, that was the start of the creation of the universe. That was the creation of worlds, galaxies. You can call that God because that, through that, that is how life for me has developed, not just on this planet, but Let's be honest, on other planets, there will be some forms of life, whether they're at our stage, um, or as a beasties and insect stage, or advanced technological stages. But for me, that's what I think God is. It's a, it's, it's a source, it's an energy, it's not an entity where we can sit down, have a conversation, and, you know, with like superpowers that you see in films, etc. So you tend to, to, to be more towards the scientific. You're looking for scientific evidence, chemical evidence, physical evidence of, uh, of what's going on. I think if, if we were to say what if God, if we have proof of energy. And there's lots of documentaries about on the world about different parts of the world where there's a real high concentration of energy. And that, to me, is something I think, if we want to think of God, it's a, it's a form, it's a process. So God and is an energy. energy source in that it could be kinetic energy, it could be heat, it could be anything you like. It could be a type of energy we don't know about yet. I mean, we don't know that much about dark matter within space, you know, but that's a, is that not like a form of energy as well? I don't, I'm not sure on that one. Yes, very, very interesting. Quite a lot of reaction, Karim. I mean, just stay there a second until I see what's happening. Here's Suzanne. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Wonderful day, yeah. Gurley. Hi, Scotty. So Susan Dinky do Scotty. Hi, Susan D. So there's all that. People tend, here's D now. D is a very interesting lady, actually. Uh, I got a lot of reaction to her call the other night and a lot of big fans. Uh, of these people tend not to believe in what they can't see and i think that's very interesting now there is a saying that the things that are seen are transient the things that are unseen are eternal 
So, uh, you know, it's very interesting that Dee's saying people tend not to believe in what they can't see, but if that saying holds true, the unseen is eternity. Yeah, I, I, I would not ever question somebody's faith. I, for me, I, I see the importance of religion because people need faith, and people need guidance, and people need that belief that there's a higher... Well, there, ha there has to be a power superior to mankind. I do not accept that Boris Johnson and Tony Blair and Gordon Brown and people like that are, are the superior beings in the world. Maybe in this world, but we don't know. I mean, there's a, an infinite gal, uh, universe out there with, I mean, there's more planets than, than grains of sand in, the un, in, in our world. Yes, and we are grains of sand and lifespan is short. Yes. You know, so so there must be something bigger than that, something there long before us, and something that will be there long after us. Then I think it comes down to energy. I mean, if you look at our bodies, the, the energy, the impulses that we have from our brain, and if you want to say our soul, that's to me that's an energy, that's a life form. Now, when we leave, when we pass on, that's your energy leaving. And I always think it goes to the universe. And yes, I, I don't have, think it can just wait. I think our bodies can lie in the cool brown earth or go up and smoke. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm sure our spirits and our energy go to add to the mass. Yes. Well, I, I, I think there's things that are done through tradition. If you look at religion, Scotty, Christianity, there's lots of things that shows you religions even before Christianity was born. Oh, of course, you go back to paganism and Esther yeah. the egg and Christianity nicked a few of these festivities, you know? Yes, and there's a lot of things that were actually, when you read in the Bible, has been recycled or been used in previous religions as well. So there's a lot of things that I think people, you know, it's not to close our minds and to criticise and wave a finger. I do think... I said, religion to me, I don't believe there's a God, but we've been taught like a man up in the sky. If there is a God, it's something that's completely different that we don't know or we don't expect. I think energy, as, as the world, with technology, etc., we will find an answer maybe one day, but I think it all comes down to energy, the life, the life source. You see, how much uh, of technology, I mean, we talk about technology, thinking about our phones and things like that and what we're actually on now. But in actual fact, the most superior technology, which governments find very hard to control, which is why they're kind of phasing it out now, is the airwaves. Now, if you look at your body, you must have had thoughts about people and then the phoned you. And they said, ah, oh, Kareem, it's, it's Big John here. And he said, John, uh, I was just thinking the same thing. I was just about to ring you. Yeah, but I was going to ask you if you were interested. And I was just going to ask you the same thing. Now, yeah. there's huge communication there. Now, the airwaves, which I absolutely uh -huh. adore the concept. If you've got a transmitter and a receiver, uh -huh. Right, uh -huh. it just depends on the power and the frequency, and the world can talk to itself, can talk to each other. Yeah, yes. now yeah. Um, that's there in the airwaves, it's that's not technology that man has invented, that's the original technology going on the earth's frequency. It's a fantastic thing. And after the First World War, the British government thought, we need to have a go at controlling this. And then what emerged from that was the BBC, long story short. You know, it's, 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 but, but they haven't managed to control anything. You can put all sorts of stuff on, good or bad. But at the end of the day, the energy is out there. The technology is ancient. And yeah. if we look upon our bodies as transmitters and receivers, we can pick up signals from each other. We can. Look at twins, Scotty, how they seem to finish off each other's sentences and know how they're thinking and how they're feeling. There's just such a closer connection. What I, twins I, did I, you I was, say? Twins? Twi twins. Hi, and you sisters know. and brothers do that. We used to have two old sisters would come round to my mother's and she'd do them afternoon tea and they would sit finishing each other's sentences. Wow. 
So you know, yeah. she would say, and then uh, Harry was going to was going to come round, you see, and and see us, you know. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. Um, I, I don't think we will have a, a definitive answer. Um, well, maybe so maybe tonight, not I, maybe not tonight because we've only got an hour. And what I'm getting now from everyone because messages pour in all the time. Any chance of another half hour, Scotty? Any chance of another hour? You know. Um, uh, so, 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 so that question, Scotty. Sorry, it's a very good question, um, and it's one that won't be, won't be answered tonight or for a very long time. No, it, it might not time. be answered tonight, and and I'm also loving the serious and the funny. Here's D. Life is uh -huh. far too complex for it to be just evolved, and then Michael Holmes asked Captain Kirk Karim. Uh, then here's Jim. Jim says God is real. He won the European Cup in 1967. <laughs> then Michael says, you are the superior being, Scotty. And it goes on like that. Well, there's, there's lots of people with diff different personal beliefs, but I would not, I would respect somebody's, um, this is where I think people have to be delicate and understand. Be because I'm atheist and I don't believe in God, I would expect people to respect that. But I also, someone like yourself saying about mass and traditions, I'll still go to mass and I'll still say the hymns and the prayers out of respect and for what I was brought up to but I, to believe in. But I've obviously changed my mind over the years and I've looked at things at a different angle. So I think for me it's out of respect. I wouldn't talk down, I wouldn't slag. I would say, okay, well, that's your belief. I'll respect that. Don't impose it on me. But I respect that that's what you follow. And I, think I, I feel the same thing when we're talking about, uh, you know, the, the Vatican or, or we're talking about Her Majesty the Queen or whatever. It's all to do with respect. Yeah. You know, you yeah. might not agree with something. You know, I mean, people protested in the 1500s because they uh -huh. thought, I don't want to be ruled from Rome. And in the 1300s, the aristocracy wrote to his holiness to say, please, can we choose our monarch? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so, I mean, all, yeah. all these are, are evolutionary and what have you, the divine right of kings. There's so many things to be looked at. What's myth? What's truth? Yeah. You know, and I think so, that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of. As you say, it probably won't be solved tonight. <laughs> no, no, it'll be a long time before. But the respect happen. thing I do uh, think is so important. This is where I have certain aspects of social media. If somebody disagrees or doesn't have the knowledge and understanding, they then Correct. start attacking the other person. Personal attack, saying, is this person mentally ill because they have a different opinion to themselves? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's like that with the independence. I, I need to respect the fact, for me, I'm not going to be able to change some people's minds about uh, Scotland becoming such a better, more powerful, richer country if we become independent. There's some people will never accept that. Well, it and also depends. A lot of people, particularly in a country like Scotland, have had their heads stuffed with nonsense that right. is supposed to be right and everybody else is wrong. And that's yeah. just not the case. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I can change my mind, Scotty, about the monarchy, I'm sure other people can open their minds and just... Yeah, like, but you I, have actually got a huge mind, Kareem, and I know you're not used to people telling you that, and I know <laughs> you could turn around and say, Scotty, don't start soft soaping me and blow smoke. <laughs> you know, but that you know I don't do that. You have got a huge mind. And just because somebody does have a huge mind, they can get bullied in school, they can get laughed at, they can told they'll yep. never amount to anything. You can get all sorts of things because people wish they were them or they just simply don't understand them. And that's why if we had some aliens coming into Glasgow just now, you know, we'd probably yep. want to harm them rather than talk to them. That's if we yep. went to space and met the wee green men, you know, or the wee blue blue and white men, we'd, um, you know, probably want to harm them rather than say, whoa, see if you can yep. make co contact with this guy. 
Uh, that's probably why they've not contacted us because I think as as a, a human race, we are very hostile. We we're poor. We're very, we're very them. poor. We're very tiny and very frightened. We're grains of sand on the beach. Yeah, absolutely. Scotty, uh, before I go, there was one thing I was going to raise with you. Yes. Um, and to the callers. Now, you're going to think I'm mad doing this, but I think at this time of the year, it's important to keep spirits high. Yes. Is it too early to start playing Christmas songs? On the radio? No, I, I, I think apparently somebody was told me they were at the shops at the weekend and the uh, shops already have Christmas stuff out. And people well, are taking their wee ones along to grottos and markets and all sorts uh, of things. Well, Rook and Glen Garden Centre, if you know there, they started putting Christmas stuff up in September. Oh, that's a fantastic place, that, Karim. Yeah. So, for me, I thought yesterday, it was Sunday, it was wet at times. I thought, you know what? I had Christmas songs on throughout the day, and it just... just such a well, it's very nice, Christmas because day. I have on occasion over many, many years, I mean, I was a big chorister all my life. And brought yep. up singing in churches and what have you, and uh, you know went to went to uh, the the Academy of Music and Drama, the Royal Scottish uh -huh. Academy of Music and Drama, and spent a lot of time with musicians and what have you. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, music is a huge, huge part of my life. And sometimes I've had to cram Christmas carols. I thought, listen, uh -huh. it's Christmas Eve. We haven't had any carols. Something get a CD. <laughs> You know, and because yeah. the day after Christmas, it's kind of late. So we don't yeah. do much after Christmas. Maybe there should be a proper April Christmas, a carol yeah. service on the 28th or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I just think it's nice that I've started playing the songs. I know some people have already put decorations up. Um, I used to put up on the 1st of November. But I didn't do it last year because I actually didn't put any decorations up because of COVID. I just thought it wasn't a proper year. So I thought at Christmas, no no decorations. And I wait till after COVID has passed. It's passed. So this to me is a, a new year, a new start. That's uh, great to hear that. I mean, I think this will be a cracking Christmas for a lot of people, although the Brexiteers have obviously wrecked the commercial side of it with, uh, well, you know, nothing yeah. coming to the shops and all that. Yeah, but we'll keep our spirits high and, you know, it's a kind we of... We And we'll, we'll keep the phone in high. <laughs> oh, Scotty, listen, thank you very much for my call tonight. Not um, at all. And I'll Quality. Be listening, I'll be listening and interested to see what people say about their opinion about God. Absolutely. I thank you, sir, and dinky-do. Dinky-do, Scotty. Good what, night. Bye -bye. what a top man. Good night and God bless, as we say. Now, very, very busy. Terrific reaction on the TikTok, guys. Hi, Scotty. How was your day? Thank you, JM. Dinky do official. Uh, hello, my dear friend. Dinky do. Chris. Dinky do. I was on your show 25 years ago, says User 769. There has to be a divine creator with a trillion miraculous life scenarios on the beautiful TikTok. Back to the telephones, I say. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Martin, buddy, how are you? Martin, buddy, how are you tonight? Are you dinky do? Dinky do very well. And the thing that guy was saying about Christmas time, I told you I've already got my tree up and Christmas time's under the tree. And it's not too early to be Christmas carols. It's not too early, so we should have a few carols and a few Christmas songs on the radio. Yes, correct. And here's a topic of what I want to bring up with you. Do you think it's right for people to get the buses to go on strike? And the trains, is that allowed or not allowed? Well, striking is allowed, and uh, right-wing governments, successive right-wing governments, of which there have been many in this country, are always saying if they could bring in some sort of legislation to stop people striking. But striking, the labor movement over the last sort of, what, how old are we talking now? Uh, certainly 150 years, I shall say. Yes, I mean, earlier than that, going way back to Cobden and Bright, the March of the Blanketeers, the Peterloo Massacre in Manchester, all these kind of things. We've always tried to get a better deal for ordinary people. 
Now, uh -huh. you know, the strikers must have a case. Otherwise, they wouldn't be striking. The only problem is it strikes, if you'll pardon the pun, right at the heart of the ordinary people that are trying to get a better deal for the strikers. So they're not actually punishing those that make the laws. Uh -huh. But they are actually striking because they went all up and they were, they went to pay rise, but folk are getting quite annoyed about, about it. All, all the bus services have been on strike for two weeks in November, the thing. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they probably deserve a pay rise. You know, I mean, I, I think that's that's very important. People have to have a decent standard because we're going to get our money washed away from the very base now. That's the next step. There's possibility interest rates might go up. Now, the government have been awash with cash from the people and all they've given us back is sort of 15 years of austerity. You know, and, and that's bad news. The coming out of Europe, that's 250 billion quid squandered straight down the Swanee of everybody's hard earned. And people are still going about it. Oh, it's good that we're out. Mm -hmm. You know, so so you're, you're always going to get the dafties that don't really know what they're voting for. I wonder if perhaps if we ever do have another, we've only had two referenda or referendums and both of them have failed the people. So we might be better saying you need to set an intelligence test and an exam if you're going to take part in this referendum. Mm -hmm. And last night I watched a new film last night and I watched Halloween Kills last night. All right, don't I'm tell us, kidding. don't tell anybody the plot now. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm, I'm not because they're very good. But I, bear in mind, there's another two movies getting made as we speak. And how is them what today, may I ask? How was my work today? Oh. Outstanding, Martin. I meet so many wonderful people. Good. Emma, Emma, Emma says hi to you. Say hi to Emma from me. I'm going to dash off and we'll catch up later. And dinky do, my boy. Emma, 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 Emma shouted hi. Hi, Emma, dinky do. There we are. Fantastic stuff. To the telephones, guys. We are exceptionally busy. Let's see what you lot are saying. Chris says there has to be a divine creator with a trillion miraculous life scenarios. We love it. Good evening, TikTokers. Good evening to everybody on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. There we go. Telephone. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, Ramondo Free Falkirk, how are you doing tonight? What a fabulous phone in already, Ramondo. And it just got even better. Hey, the phone has been tremendous tonight again. But I'm Monday night. I'm Monday night. Monday night. Monday, listen, there are huge news organizations, radio stations, television companies. They can't get anybody calling in. McClue's a wash with calls. I can't handle them all. Just amazing. I just wish that everybody on the planet knew that we were on. Well, I'll tell everybody you see, I was telling I was telling a friend earlier today about my philosophy has always been the sower and the seed. Now I don't know if you're a biblical man and you're aware of the parable of the sower and the seed. Well aware of it. So you know that some seed falls on stony ground and some seed falls on good ground. Yes. You know, and that's what we're doing with the phone in at the moment. We're saying, throw out all the seeds, sow all the seeds, right? And some will absolutely flourish like Jack's beanstalk. Scotty, so I'm spreading the seed as much as I can. Spread the seed, I say. Always spread and your some seed, Ramondo. Some folk will be water off a duck's back. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, so, 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 so not everybody's going to hear it, Raymondo. A couple of pounds, so, Scotty, because one of the things I do is I walk the duck. Oh, and now you're talking. Walking the duck you see every day. And I meet. And I always tell my friends, listen to Big Scotty, and I tell them, you might hear me because I phone them regularly. Oh, a friend of mine. you're a bro call. And I'll tell you, 
the one or two of us that have listened and but they've no quite they get the courage to listen. But what the reason I'm phoning right, Scotty. Yes. Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, the birth of Christ. The birth of Tini's driving me mad. She's got the Christmas music on the new. Good. Well, we like that. I think we're all needing a wee cheery up. And the fact yeah. that the Messiah is coming back to sort out the badness in the world. But it's only October, Scotty. Ken, but it's nearly the end of October and then we're into November. Now, just after November comes December. What happens in December? Christmas! Oh, come on, Scotty. I cannot put up with this. I'm <laughs> They're, they're shouting now, Merry Christmas. What's herself shouting Merry Christmas? She's just Christmas songs. She's doing the Christmas shop for all the grand wings. Good stuff. She's got the, the tinsel and everything. I cannot be bothered with it, Scotty. <laughs> I love Christmas, but I love Christmas Day. Yes, and well, we wouldn't have Christmas Day without all the preparation. This is what we call the run-up to Christmas. It is all about balance. balance. Yes, otherwise we'd fall over. I would fall over. That's a, that's a good point. Scott. There's a good analogy Scotty. for you, Raimondo. It has indeed. Well, Listen, well, I shall catch well, up well, soon, well, buddy. Merry early Christmas to you. A merry, merry Christmas, Raimondo. And dinky do to the telephones, everybody. Scotty McClure's for in. We are live. Our soul, my soul, has great things to do, says Claire. I am a Christian, says Anthony. Faith is like the wind. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Good one, Tony. Them neurons in our brains have loads to say, you know, says Claire. Evening, everybody. Dinky do hi, guys. Yep, I'm a twin, and I get it first. My love is my twin. Can anyone remember the guy's name that used to phone up and sometimes sing Scotty a song? Paul, I think that was Big Hamish in the drum. He used to play the muthy. Yes, indeed, wind, I have that, says Jerry. Look at how wonderful our body heals, says Dee. That's got to be from a superior being. It's my belief in God, each to their own. If we evolved from the monkeys, why have we stopped now? Why are we still not evolving? Very, very good stuff here, Dee. No politics, thank you, Kareem. Kareem doesn't do politics, Murray. He's just discussing something. We mustn't interpret everything as politics. That's lovely. As an atheist, I'm the same as Catholic. I've no care what the next man is or his belief. It doesn't affect my life. Everybody's opinions matter. There we go. Excellent. Absolutely clear, says D. Glasgow's full of aliens. They walk among us. We love this. Faith is a personal thing. It brings great comfort to people through hard times. Religion does a lot of good to help others through outreach, but we must respect others' people's beliefs or disbelief. Love that one, Tony. Beliefs or disbelief. I've got Christmas socks on now, it's just clear. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. And who's Carol, Scotty? Good one, Jerry. We love that. I'm not too bad, says everybody. Did you do, Scotty McClure? Thank you very much, Kareem. How fantastic is that? Hello, Kareem, says D. The dafties are on. La la. Is it true you're getting hit, Scotty Murray? I think most of the people who have very kindly congratulated me haven't watched the video. There's a video on YouTube and TikTok, folks. And it says, getting married. People are now saying, are you getting hitched? Uh, more likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Dinky do. I say hi, Scotty. Good evening. Good evening, sir, says military girl. Good evening, ma'am. I salute you. There we are. Do you believe in goblins, Scotty? Well, there's all these wee folk out there. So there we are. Max says some rubbish. So we'll just dump Max and send him doing the swatty. There we go. Gone. Thanks, Max. What do we got? Well, hello. That hat is naughty. Thank you, Kieran. It's the sixth sense, Scotty. Ah, what about the other five senses? What are they? My brother's and he's called our dinky-doo. 
Uh, Scott FM, we love it. Hello, Sir Scotty. Dinky do. There we go. Fantastic. Who's the boy on the phone? Maybe we'll never know. Scotty, why hang up on me last week? We don't hang up on you, Craig. I need to phone in soon, Scotty. Disco Pete, you will thank you for your beautiful gifts. Very much appreciated. Right. Who else have we got here? Thank you. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10. What about Christmas tune in the box, Scotty? To kick it all off. We love it. Fantastic. It's obviously who's going to pay for fun law. What did people expect? Clearly, absolutely obvious. But we are ready. It's actually not furlough you're paying for so much as Brexit. Let's not forget that. There we are. This dafty is never off TikTok. User 1245. I'm only off TikTok for 23 hours a day. So who's the dafty? Fantastic. Hi from Bulgaria, says Dibrov. Hi, lovely to have you with us from the, from Bulgaria. Greetings from Israel. Good health and may God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Hi from Belfast in Ireland, says Dog's Life in Belfast. The Messiah is a very naughty man. He's not a naughty man. He's not the Messiah. OMG, you look good for 93. Thank you, Lee. I'm actually 94. How amazing is that? What about parents having to keep kids happy with 600 pound games consoles? A lot of pressure. Colilio, parents would be better sitting their kids in front of the Scotty McClure phone in. It's free. All right, dinky do. Why are we always evolving but at a very slow rate? Uh, yes, indeed. Good point. Very good point there, Dave. Dinky do. We love that. Fantastic. A very slow rate. Who else have we got on here? Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Most of your religious thoughts can be clearly explained with science. I respect it, though, if you believe. Well, Camelio, we can explain all sorts of things with science, but the science isn't necessarily right, whereas perhaps God is. Isn't that interesting? There we are. Uh, I love you, said Lee. Thank you, Lee. Is that you in the picture behind you? Of course it is. Well, that's Lord Reith the Labrador. There we are. Now, Scotty, bisexual Superman loves Wonder Woman and the Hulk. I see what you mean, Steve. I see what you just did there. Hello from Brazil. Hello, Dinky Do. Beachy, Beachy has sent me six beautiful TikToks. Who have we got? Good evening, Scotty McClue. Dinky Do says Scott Livingston. The dafties, the dafties. Oh, you're always going to get the dafties. So there we are, Murray. So no, I'm not getting hitched. You need to watch the video. Go and have a look at the video, Murray. I think that's a photo that's been posted. Do you know where the saying saved by the bell originated, Scotty? Murray, was it uh, saved by the bell? Uh, it might be nautical or it might be boxing. Somebody might have saved their life by the bell going and boxing. Um, so that this is just me guessing, of course, grasping at straws. Uh, Saved by the Bell might be people who haven't yet subscribed to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and need to subscribe and tap the bell. So if you're watching YouTube now, subscribe and tap the bell. Why not, for goodness sake? That's what I say. Let's all go. I didn't understand the wedding video. No, no, Karim, friend of mine got married, right? And, uh, well, I... Everybody watch it. Guys, go and watch the wedding video on the YouTube channel. Watch it on Facebook Live. Yes, go to Scotty McClue Facebook Live and uh, watch the wedding video. And uh, go on to TikTok and watch the wedding video at Scotty McClue on TikTok. There we go. Absolutely away from all that stuff. Now, uh, never been away. What do we got? The guys are talking to each other here. Scotty McClue show. There's a sub show going on. I'm having ice cream and pineapple. Nice one, Jerry. You ever tried fresh cream and banana? There we go. Saved by the bell does relate to boxing. Right, Kuleleo. Thank you. Murray, is that true? Does it relate to boxing? I think we should be told. Thanks, Claire, says the wonderful D. No cake again. There we go. Phones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? 
Hi, Scotty. I was just listening the other night about women. Hey, who's that? It's Anne. Anne, lovely. I just need a name, Anne. That's all I need, dear. Lovely to hear you. Yeah. I was listening the other night, Scotty, about the women. When do you... When Dee was talking, I making soup and women been a lot happier making soup than out working. I disagree. You'd you'd rather you'd rather be out working than making soup and looking after your man. Well, Scotty, I've got four boys. Right. And I was worked as a nurse, and I done shifts, and then I was working. My husband looked after the children. Right. And when he worked, I looked after the children. And did that work out okay? It does, yes. Are the boys all right? They're not wild as the heather. Lovely boys. Lovely boys. Very proud of them. I like that. Say hi to everybody from Scotty McClure. So would you say that that solution, which has worked for you, Anne, would you say that should be the definitive solution for people? I do. So two jobs, two incomes, take turns. That's it. When I was the early shift, my husband was back shift and vice versa. And it was like passing shifts in the night, Scotty. And, and do you think that strengthens the do you think that strengthens the marriage then? It does, because the, my husband knows what it is to bring up a family and I'm not there. How marvellous. So the two of you are excellent parents. Do you get a yeah. chance now to get together with the boys and be a family? Yeah, my oldest boy is 27. Wow. My youngest boy is 14. And lovely boys, Scotty. L lovely boys. So a lot to recommend. It Was it very hard work for the pair of you, though? It was, Scotty. And see, going back to your days with Scotty FM. Yes. When my first boy was born, we used to lie in bed at night and listen to you on Scotty FM. And we used to laugh. <laughs> your phone and unmarried mothers and your topics that you had and we were pleased to see that you were coming back on the radio these were great Good days day. I mean it's not quite as wild now because we're not allowed to be as wild that's right you can't see anything nowadays but, but the thing is we're here and and we're doing it and everybody seems to be loving it you know, and I, and I think that's important because we're coming up to 30 years of Scotty McClue in June. Oh, well, that's good. We're eight yeah, months away from 30 years. Nearly 20 years. Isn't that amazing? And we listen to you just after we were married. So Do you know what Kalelia is saying here? I hope the boys weren't conceived listening to Scott FM. No, no. We used to have been a first uh, wee boy was born. He used to lie in the Moses basket. I mean, you're still to you in the radio, <laughs> I think that Scotland is being robbed by not having Scotty McClure on the radio at night. Uh -huh. In fact, I think the whole country is being robbed because, um, you know, Scotty McClure is massive across the northwest of England, Liverpool, Manchester, Carlisle, mm -hmm. Newcastle, Birmingham. Uh, Nottingham, Sheffield, Leeds, Hull, all these places used to have the Scotty McClue phone in and absolutely loved it. So the only people that really have to stand up for themselves are the programmers. Mm -hmm. Because the people you the know, people are up for it. But do you not think, Scotty, you've got to watch what you say nowadays. You can't say anything. You have to a wee bit because uh, people do their nut at the wrong things. And I That's think right. what we're needing to do is bring the objectors out into the middle of the road so we can all see them. So if somebody That's said, right. oh, you can he say that, then we say to them, okay, who says you can he say it? That's right. You know, really and is. why can you no say it? I can remember a council saying we're not going to put up a Christmas tree in case it offends our Islamic people. And my answer to that was, have you asked them? Exactly. You know? Because I don't think they'd mind at all. Exactly, Scotty. You know? It's lovely to see you back on the radio because we were actually telling our younger boys um, how we used to listen to you when we were just married. That's great. And they started listening to you as well. 
on TikTok as well. Is it TikTok? Is that how you found me, Anne? No, it was one of our boys found you on TikTok, Scotty, and Gosh. then we've started watching you every night. And, and he, he then the said family. to you, Mum, you want to see this guy called Scotty McClure? And you went, I know all about Scotty McClure. Well, it was actually, my husband had said to one of the boys, we used to listen to Scotty McClure. I'm actually got you on YouTube, um, some of the, your early programs, Scotty. And one of the boys came in and said, Scotty McClure's on at night. Wow. And that's how we got back. I just think this is fantastic. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not blowing any trumpets because this is the people's show. I'm just mm -hmm. the catalyst, as you know. But I am loving the fact that we pop up on the internet and the people appear because a, a, a dear friend of mine who was very, very senior in the media, I actually asked him the question. It was just the two of us. And I said mm -hmm. to him, I said, do you think, if I went on the radio tonight, the audience would come back, and he went, instant. Well, there you go, Scotty. And I thought, I well, there's a man that knows. Because you don't know yourself. You think, what if I went on and just nobody bothers? Well, Scotty, I was only 23, 24, when I started listening to you. Now I'm 51, and I've started listening to you again. So well done. I love it. And also, I love the fact that your boys are into it, because that the next generation listening well, and they'll it. hopefully tell their kids and there we go and, and they'll say oh your granny your great granny used to listen to scotty mcclure well, that's it, scotty. and what a joy thank you for picking up the phone because i know sometimes it takes a wee bit of bottle to think should or should i know and you always should with scotty mcclure there's no barriers it's not like ringing you know, some mainstream media station, you're like, oh, I better know, uh, because there never has been with me, as you well know. That's it, Scotty. But it's been a pleasure, Scotty, to oh, talk to you. Just lovely hearing from you. And as I say, love and strength to you and to your dear family and to your husband and to the boys. And we'll all catch up again soon. Thank you, do Angel. Ta -ra -la. That's uh, that's how ran. That's amazing, actually. And guys, I know it does take a wee bit of bottle sometimes. Do you think just for your first call? But just do it because what have you got to lose? Nothing. There we are, Jerry. Thank you, do. Uh, if you don't like what you hear or what you see, then away you go, says clear. There we are, thank you. There's Peter Wood. One of the world's great accordionists. Good evening, Mr. McClue. Peter, the Duke of Perth. Outstanding. Right to the telephones. What's going on here? Hello, you're, hello you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. Ah, Glenn. I was hoping you'd Thanks, ring man. tonight. Yeah, nice one. Glenn, two seconds. Everybody watching right now, can you all do a massive share on YouTube, on TikTok Live, on Facebook Live, on LinkedIn Live, and on Twitch Live at Scotty underscore McClue? Do a massive share. Thank you. Well, Glenn, we need to get into this sharing, and we need to subscribe and tap the bell on the YouTube channel. Scotty, the figures aren't big enough on, uh, on the YouTube. I mean, no, uh, we must get that up big style. They need to get a lot bigger, Scotty, don't they? They, they need to get a lot bigger. Out. We need everybody on the internet should be joining in this phone in. People need to click on that like button on the bell. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, I as I said, then, I, I don't have the budget for advertising this, but I'll tell you something. People will find it. We will grow holistically and organically. Do you like that, Glenn? Do you see what I just I did there? Brilliant. Holistically and organic growth on the phone in. And we're just going like, what? I know there was she on about. And the other thing, Glenn, of course, as you know, the sower and the seed. Definitely. Some seed falls on good ground and some seed falls on? On, uh, go on, Scott, on stony ground. On stony ground, yeah. Uh, and what we have to do is just let the stony ground take care of itself. The good ground, the seed yeah, will it, blossom. It builds up, doesn't it? It builds up. Of course it does. Absolutely. It just takes a bit of time. Well, Glenn, Glenn, remember, you were in at the start. 
lockdown. Well, no. Lockdown phone ends popping up on Lockdown. YouTube, popping up on Facebook. And of course, it's what we call, you'll love this one, Glenn. This is Scots, I'm going to teach you, right? Yeah. It's a sehr fecht. What might that mean? A sehr yeah. fecht. I don't know, Scott, as well. It's a sore fight. A sore fight. It's a sore fight. To, it's a sore fight. Now, it's only a sore fight because there's so much media out there, but people can sort out the wheat from the chaff. And this yeah, is right. wheat and chaff on here. Yeah, Scotty, you've told me a few things to that here with these fans. Yeah. And, and the yeah, one, right. and here's a beauty for you, and this is a good Yorkshire one. It's a long row to furrow. It's, so it's like a long road. A long, yeah. yes, it's like a long no. road, and it's a long road that has no turns. So it's, it's got a long way to go, then, guys. It's got a long way to go, and it's a long road to furrow means you're going to have to do a lot of ploughing. You're going to hit yeah. a few stones and rocks. Idea. But Suzanne, there's Suzanne telling us the numbers are going up every night. So, so it's like digging for gold kind of thing, Scott. It, it is, it's like digging for gold, it's like the crock of gold at the end of the rainbow, but here's the good thing, I know the end game, because I've now built half a dozen phone ends, and the radio stations themselves sometimes kill off their own, you know, shoot their own golden goose. I mean, listening to what the paper scholar was saying, seeing you on the radio... You wouldn't have dreamt of that years ago, would you? You absolutely would not. You know, you think now we're listening to someone in the radio. I wonder if we'll ever watch this person. To actually see the person. Here's a half wit. Let me get rid of this half wit here. There's a half wit called Mince and Tatties on TikTok who says, You're rambling. Why is he watching? Shall we send him Dune the Swanee? Uh, right, Mince and Tatties. You're going Scott, down the he swanee. Wants, He's away, Glenn. If he, to, if he wants to come on and be better. Yep, absolutely. He's welcome to. Why doesn't he start his own phone in? Exactly. Everybody's material is different. They don't appease everybody, does it? No, no, you'll never please all the people all the time. But I do know that watching Scotty McClure makes them happy. So if... Uh, we, we go back a long way, don't we? We do, Glenn. You and I go and back. I, I Wait, and I shall tell you, 26 magic. years. Magic and Alam FM, isn't it? Yeah, Alam FM, 26 I mean, years. Like I said, I think there's a bit of Green Eyed Monster coming in with some of these. Ooh, people. the Green Eyed Monster's appearing. You'll yeah. always get that, Glenn. Definitely. I think um, pick phone up, isn't it? Just. Have a chat, will you? Pick up the phone, have a chat, do the decent thing and don't make an idiot of yourself. I mean, imagine putting your rambling to somebody. How could we possibly ramble? What he means is, I can't understand what's being discussed here. It's over my head. That's, that's pretty much what it is. It's There's like, the wonderful yeah. Jerry goes, get him, do the swanny. James Gibbs like, says, do the swanny with them. Scotty's like, I can't comprehend what you're trying to say kind of thing. Absolutely. I don't understand you, Scotty, so you must be mad. He's struggling with communication barrier. Every dessert of step, but you're trying to hear Z, Jono. Jono's giving it Z. I mean, Jono's I mean, away I mean, down the swanee. Scotty, I mean, to be honest about it, if everybody were the same, it'd be so boring. Oh, it'd be a dull world, Glenn. It'd be a dull world. Yeah. We've all got yep. to have his own individual. Talent, there we are. So Jono's away doing the swanny as well. That's good, isn't it? Glenn, I'm going to have to dash because the phones are going bananas. We all have to help you go and some weaknesses, don't we? We have to know our swats, our strengths, our weaknesses, our opportunities and threats. Our selling point, our unique selling point and all that. Are you, our USPs, yeah, yeah. Definitely. and then, yeah. then we've got our KPIs. Brilliant. It'd be better if they chucked all that nonsense and just got on with doing the business. They're correct. Yeah. I was talking to a friend yesterday that said, there's three of us in the country, Scotty, who could actually be highly, highly successful, but we would have to lay down the law to the management and say, no meetings. But you know what the problem is, though? It's got to communication in there. 
Absolutely, that's what it's about. Here's Kirby the Annihilator. Listen to this, Glenn. I simply cannot see you live and not pop in. Good evening, sir. How do you do? How do we do Kirby? And Kirby is in the United States. If people communicate with each other and just have a good time and a good laugh. That's what it's about. That's, that's what it's about, putting opinion across and... Having a good chin that. Absolutely. I'm going to have to dash, Glenn. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Love uh, you lots. Ta -ra -la. Uh, bye. Top man. That's our Glenn. What a great guy, actually. Glenn's been around as, almost as long as Scotty McClure. Just amazing. Uh, now, been watching you since the early 90s. I'm now 47. You're still doing a great job, Jimmy Tick. That is so very, very kind of you. And dinky do to you, I say. Uh, put them in the lock. Absolutely. Stick them in the stick them in the Scotty McClue slammer. Down the swanee with you. Ah, thank you, me dookie D. Dinky do, you got this. We have me dook, Claire. Dinky do, are we extra half hour, Lord McClue? James Gibb, you're very, very kind. This is just outstanding. If you want to get to the telephones, can I suggest, let me put up some more chat for you. So if you look in front of you, just watch the captions change. Here we go. Are we ready? Woo! What about that? How good is that? Are we ready again? Woo! Are we ready again? Woo! There we go. Fantastic. So you should be seeing that changing, guys. Uh, has everybody subscribed? on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're watching LinkedIn Live, if you're watching Twitch, if you're watching Facebook Live, get on to the YouTube channel. Yeah, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. And everybody should be subscribing to the YouTube channel. That's how we will build our phone in. Love you lots. Woohoo! Woohoo, James Gibb. Some folk just don't have the wherewithal or mental capacity to appreciate the phone, Scotty. Mario Donnell, remember you are a very sharp cookie. Remember you are a very clever man. And um, I have to say to you that the people on here, the internet is actually a different kettle of fish to the radio because we have some amazing people on the internet we didn't get on the radio. And they know they can either go on the chat, they can go on TikTok, they can go on YouTube, they can make a comment, or they can phone me. What's not to like, I say to you. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, New Jet. How lovely to have you with us. Beachy, beachy, that looks like a degree you've put there. Yes, absolutely. Woohoo! Fantastic. Ha ha, says D. D's loving it. D, your call the other night was outstanding. I have had message after message. I had a top lady phone me yesterday. She said, amazing phone in last night, Scotty. D, D. I said, yes, yes. Come back tomorrow and we'll teach you the rest of the alphabet. She said, no, D. I said, all right, there's Welly Songs just joined us. What an absolute treat. You're live on Scotty McLean's phone in. Who is that? David, how are you? <laughs> David, this is fantastic. Tonight, is this not amazing, David? <laughs> Woohoo! How fantastic. And we've sent a couple of dumpling heads doing the swatty. I, I just tuned in because I had friends and I need to stream in about um, two minutes. Well, don't you worry, David. Don't you worry. 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 There's yeah, Betty yeah. Joe says, as Numpty he'd been on tonight, Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo yeah, Lee, yeah, yeah. and Scapa oh. Flo from Texas is consulting. Uh, that's amazing, Texas. And Texas. I know, they're all watching. They're just, I've, I've all these lovely people. There. Scotty oh, McClue's yeah. now massive in America. 7% right. of the viewership is American. That's amazing. So, see, in America, can they actually see you live? Yes, they're watching me right now. Wait till you hear this. There we right. go. Yes, fantastic. Right. So good. And I, seriously, Scott is brilliant. You know what I mean? So I, I just missed, what was the topic tonight? Oh, the topic going? tonight, David. Boy, have you missed yourself, Chummy. I because know, we have been discussing 
does yeah. God exist? And and if you are an atheist or an agnostic, in other words, you need to shut up. Uh, oh, you know, sure. if, yeah, if I, you I, are, yeah, right. then we need to know what it is you feel you're not sure of. In other words, well, God I'm must a, exist for you to know what to. I'm an atheist, but my mum and dad made me to be a Catholic. Yes, I ra made you. How yeah, very, there's a very interesting I, use of the word, Stevie. Yes, because I wanted a choice, and then obviously that was a wee boy born, right? They choose my in my own religion, and I think it's no, it's no, it's no, it's wrong. So has anybody else watching and listening ever been made to be a Catholic? That's you what's know, interesting. I, that's right. As you, as you know, it's like yourself. You were born from your mother many years ago, right? Correct. Well, I wasn't. You see, I was actually knitted by my grandmother. So that's <laughs> we don't know what age I am. We think she dropped a couple of stitches. Right, so in other words, we get our heads stuffed with stuff, early yes. doors. Yes, Scotty, oh, I, yes, yes. But they used to say, give us the child till they're five and we'll have oh. them for life. I mean, the religion thing has is, is really uh, caused a lot of problems, as you know, in society. Anyway. Well, David, I'm going to correct you there, and you'll love this, right? Uh, religion yeah. itself has never, ever, 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 ever caused a problem. Well, well wait, no, wait till I tell you, wait till I tell you. What actually causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. Well, that, that's, that's true, I understand. You see, and that's what we are suffering from is people's yeah. lack of knowledge and understanding. So when oh, somebody man. goes, he's a Catholic, you say, well, give him a big hug. Maybe no during COVID, obviously. But you say, oh, well, yeah. give, give him a big virtual hug because he's, a, he's your Christian brother. Yeah, well, that's true. I've got a friend who's a Christian. But then again... So she was a Christian, and then she tried to take her own life. Anyway, that's not. Do you know what Kareem's what... just said? Wait, you hear this, Davy? You'll love this. My mum's Catholic, my father's Muslim. I was brought up right. Catholic, but I'm now atheist. So, Kareem, oh, you could right. is atheism? Yeah. Could that be classed as a religion? That means Kareem's had the experience of three religions. That exactly. makes Kareem a very well versed man. That's correct, of course, he's, he's, he's so intelligent, I, I know that as well, you know. So his dad was Muslim, and he, yes. he, it goes on, his mum was Catholic. His mum was Catholic, and he and, now and he's, is he's, an he's, atheist, he's, but because Kareem is so open-minded and so switched on, he's an uh, atheist pro tem. Latin pro -tem. for pro tempore. Now, I'm not speaking for Kareem here, I'm just saying uh -huh, he might uh -huh. change that, who knows? Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's quite it's strange. Imagine his dad trying. I don't know. I'm going to try to say. Imagine his dad now says, "Son, you should be a Muslim." You, you, you see where I'm coming from. I see where you're coming from. Here's 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 Tom's saying. In other words, ignorance. God warrior or oh, Davy religion given to us to keep peace. We've not yet gained understanding to join the galactic universe. Well, that, that's quite, uh, uh, the galactic universe is a big thing. Is that I, not I beautiful? That is amazing. Oh, yes. And God, here's Susan, my mother Catholic, yes. my dad Prodi, but they're both yes. Christians, you see. Yeah, John, what did you say there about Scottish? Uh, it's Suzanne, she says, my mother Catholic, my dad Prodi, she says. Oh, that you know, stuff. I mean, we could we could probably quite easily dump all that because, I know, I, you know, I think I, a lot I, I of the people. That, people don't want to give me about that. I get you. you yes, know, yes, you, know you could mean. probably dump all that because I mean that's just old traditional stuff. That's not ancient in any ways. That goes back. Uh, 300, yeah. wait till I do my, my maths, 321 yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, Sorry, 331 years. As I say, it's 
Davey, I'm going to have to go. We're out of time. I love you lots. Thank you, do, son. Night, night. We're out of time, folks. ta ra lads. Woohoo! Fantastic. <laughs> Bye, Scotty. Bye, Davey. Night, night, everybody. Thanks for the most fantastic show ever so far. And dinky-doo.